Welcome, and we're on chapter two, part nine. I really can't understand. I know that they might not want to give bigger parts to someone who's just a member of a chorus, but why won't they even let me sing on the chorus anymore? Even today's concert is the first time in a week that I get to go on stage. What is the reason for this? Christine. Um, C Christine. a malicious rumor about Christine spreading throughout the Opera House. I am aware of that. What could I have possibly done wrong? No, the fault lies not with you, but the ones who started the rumor. I plan to show those who dare spread such outrageous rumors a piece of my mind. Yet, there were too many of them. Thanks to, to Mr. Fanta, a few other singers still believe in your innocence. My innocence? What are you speaking of? My heavens, do you not know? Rumor has it that you are responsible for Mr. Bouquet's murder. What nonsense! No! No, it wasn't me! Of course we know. You would never do such a thing. Why would anyone believe that I murdered Mr. Bouquet? The murder weapon was found in your dressing room. That's what, what this is all about. What utter nonsense! I never killed anyone! A noose! But they found rope marks on his neck! Why was that in my dressing room? This is just a rope tied loosely around the stage sets. I'm accused of murder for this reason alone? Some singers believe the rumor because of the rope. What? They believe this is to be solid evidence? Even my colleagues? <laughs> this is an organized conspiracy to frame Christine. And most certainly the managers and their puppet Remy is involved. Now, I must form an EC for Christine. Jean, do not speak that way. Yes, Mr. Remy is indeed a cunning spy, but... But what's an EC? Is it different from an emergency committee? Committee? <gasps> in any case, it must be the conspiracy made by the managers. There are no people in this opera house that hate Christine as much as they do. Furman Richard, Ermin Marshman, I shall end the two of you. Everyone, just calm yourselves. Nothing's known for sure. However, I do believe that the managers are involved in this somehow. Not to mention, my mother was fired just for going against them. What? The proud, unstoppable Madame Jerry was fired? They fired her right on the spot for speaking of the Phantom after all the years she had devoted to the Opera House. Well... What's most certain is that the managers are conniving fiends who try to harm all those who stand in their way. We must protect Christine. Let's form a Christine emergency committee. Jean. Jean, there is no need for that. You might also become a target. Same goes for all of you. You may become involved if you are seen with me. Christine, don't say that. There is no need. Become involved in that malicious rumor? We couldn't care less about it, so don't worry. I'll come up with a plan, something even better than my cat plan. Sure, thank you. I'm a little dizzy. If I could just be alone for a second. Christine, do tell the doctor if you feel ill. I will.
Christine, my angel, stand before the mirror and look at yourself. Your face contains so much sorrow. Are you still distracted by earthly matters? No, I'm perfectly fine, just a bit exhausted. You shall focus only on the heavenly music. Stay away from any distractions. Now, sing for me, Christine. I can't focus on the notes. When today could be my final performance? Christine. Yes, my angel? I ordered you to sing, yet your thoughts were clearly elsewhere. I've told you to steer clear of all earthly matters. Did my words mean nothing to you? What earthly matter has caught your attention? Angel, please help me. I had never felt so lost. It was not just a fleeting rumor. Everyone thinks I killed Mr. Briquet. I said, take your mind off earthly matters, Christine Daye. My angel, you must help me. I don't even know who killed Mr. Briquet, yet I may be put behind bars because of his death. My angel, do you know who the murderer is? I do indeed. I know your soul is too pure for murder, and I also know who killed Mr. Briquet. The one who called Joseph Bouquet is the man referred to as the Phantom of the Opera. Ah! But, but Angel, you said the Phantom of the Opera does not exist. Christine, understand my words. There are no phantoms in this world. But a man referred to as the Phantom of the Opera does indeed exist. That means... Now you understand. Uh, why must you be so anxious, Christine? But, but I, I've been talking about that man for far too long. The man's next victim may be I. Never worry, my dear Christine. Him of my robe is always cast over you. It is enough to hide you from the phantom that roams about the opera house. Angel, I am always watching over you. I protect you from all dangers thus far, so never fear, just sing. For the heavenly music shall lead you to me. Thank you, my angel. Christine, may you pay no mind to this earth. You must stay strong for us to meet in the place with no darkness. Trust me, sing for me, and you must love me. Yes, Angel. It's such a relief that my angel has been protecting me from the fam the opera all along. That noose. I wish the angel had also stopped the rumor from becoming so widespread. Can I trust my angel to protect me from now on? Who knows what will happen even today? Shall I go discuss matters with the managers? Just as before, I need to take measures into my own hands. Where are you going? You do not look well. Shall I fetch the doctor? No, I'm all right. I must go talk to the managers. Right now? Yes, the performance will begin soon, hence I should hurry. Aw, oh, I saw them coming out of the manager's office. They were heated towards the stage. Oh, headed towards the stage. The stage? I see. Thank you. <laughs>